Hey, welcome back guys, it's Karate Fox, and today we're going to be finishing off our Qinghai Taipei Railway Train. So it's been a while since we've uh, done the video for the locomotive, so sorry about that. Uh, but we're building the coaches, which are the China Railway's 25T plateau type carriages. And they are specially made for high altitude because it's a really high elevated um, place that they go to. And I have five different types of carriages. They're all built by uh, Sifang in uh, real life. So um, here I have actually listed all the different types. Um, so right over here, this is the power car, the head and power, also known as a generated car to provide, uh, I guess, electricity throughout the train. And uh, that is the designated as KD. Then it's followed by the YW car. This is a hard sleeper. And uh, here's what it looks like on the other side. And then next up, we have the RW. Now the RW is the soft sleeper, so it's more comfortable. It has larger rooms and larger bed than the hard sleeper. Then it's followed by the CA car. This is a diner, so this is, I guess, where you can eat. Here's what it looks like on the other side. You can tell because it has like this white box on top. And then the last car here, we have the YZ, which is the seat car. So I guess you just sit in this car. And here is what it looks like. Now I have actually assembled a whole entire train. I recreated based on a video I saw on Billy Billy. And uh, this is the Qinghai Taipei Railway <laughs> train, just a typical one. So the causes for this um, is actually um, two locomotives here in the front. So they're gonna be facing different directions. And it's followed by the KD, the generator car, and then a YW, which is the hard sleeper. Another hard sleeper, another hard sleeper, another hard sleeper, and then we have the RW. Now this is the soft sleeper, and another soft sleeper. Then it's followed by the Dynacar, the CA. And then we have the YZ, this is the seat car. Another seat car, another seat car, another seat car. And then it's a YW, which is the hard sleeper. So hard sleeper, hard sleeper, hard sleeper, hard sleeper. <laughs> That's all for the rest. So you can see it's a very long train. Um, I'm on my server right now, so you, you can't even see the end of it. Like the render distance is so much. Uh, this thing is incredibly long, as you can see. So I don't know if you're going to actually um, build the entire train in Minecraft. Maybe you just want to have like one of each car. That's pretty good in itself. Because uh, we have five different types of cars and maybe we can all assemble them and I've actually like ordered these cars in the way that you can assemble them so Just having these five cars on on your own. You can have a train um, And this actually is a commission by Victor. So thanks to him for making this video possible you guys are interested in commissioning your own train I have a link in the description down below. But anyways, uh, let's get started. So for this tutorial, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a base car for every single car and that's going to be our starting point. So if you're wondering how long each car is, uh, the in between here is actually 38 blocks. That does not include the gangway. All right, so first we're going to take out a polished black stone brick slab, a wall, light gray carpet, dark oak fence gate, a nether brick fence, an acacia fence gate, um, dark prism marine block, yellow concrete, and a black concrete. And then first off, we'll place down a dark oak fence gate right here in the middle. Like that. Another fence gate to the side of it. Open that up. Um, a polished black stone brick block here and a slab next to that. Light gray carpet on top. And then three blocks tall of polished black stone brick wall like that two blocks wide polished black stone brick slab and then we'll add in a dark oak trap door right on the very top like that all right so then behind this we'll add in two blocks wide black concrete and then on top we'll add in a dark prism marine block we're going to make it four blocks tall so one two three four like that and then we'll add in um stone brick um, block right next to this and then we'll add in a stone brick slab just uh, two blocks wide like this 
All right, and then we'll go um, right to the side. We'll add in a nether brick fence right over here. And then an acacia fence gate on top and open that up. All right, and then we'll add in yellow concrete. And that's going to be uh, right on the inside of this. And we're going to make it so it's going to be 38 blocks long. So one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty, thirty one, thirty two, thirty three, thirty four, thirty five, thirty six, thirty seven, thirty eight. Right, thirty eight, like that. Next up, we'll add in a dark prismarine slab. This is going to go all the way across the side of this. So we reach the other side. All right. Once we have done that, we'll add in a dark prismarine block um, on the inside of this. I guess two blocks tall here, one block over here. And then we'll add in this oak slab right there and dark prismarine slab on top of it. And then we'll add in a light gray carpet on top of that, like so. All right, so now we're gonna add in the wheel. So let's go down here. And uh, we're gonna skip two blocks after this. So one, two, then next one here. Gray concrete like that. All right, and then we're gonna skip three blocks and add another one. That. And then we'll add in three blocks wide, polished black stone brick slab. Hoppers on the sides of the wheels. And then inside we'll add in polished blackstone brick slabs all the way across. And then polished blackstone brick block right on top of everything. Right where the bogey is. In the middle we'll add in a polished blackstone brick slab here and another slab on top. And then a dark oak fence gate. That's going to be um, uh, well towards the end here. Add it going this way like that. And then the other fence gate's going to face towards that other fence gate. Then right on top here, we'll add in this dark prismarine uh, stairs. So it's upside down facing towards this opened up fence gate. And we're gonna replace this block over here with a dark prismarine block or slab, doesn't matter because you can't really tell. Then we're gonna add a dark prismarine slab just two blocks long before and after this, like that. All right, next let's go inside here. We'll add an oak bun there. Then we'll go to our loom and we'll place a black banner with green dye. We'll make a green dye across the top row, put it back in, and green dye across the middle. And we'll just put this right over here for the, the door windows, I guess. So now what we're going to do, we're pretty much going to copy this end here. All right, so now what we're going to do, we're going to copy this end here and uh, all the way to this bogey here. And we're going to build it on the other side, so right at the end. So I'm going to copy it right now. I'm going to flip it and then go over here. Just right at that point right over here. So let me see if I can get this right. Um, so I think, yeah, it should be looking like this right there on the other side. Very nice. All right, so now we're going to add in a black concrete, just uh, two blocks tall here. And we're going to extend this all the way across to the other side. So I'm just going to use world edit for that, like this. And then we're going to extend um, this oak slab and this dark prismarine slab. Just to make that go all the way across to the other side, just like this. And then for the roof as well, this part here, just extend that all the way across so it matches up like so. All right, next we're going to extend uh, this stone brick block all the way across on the inside like that all right so this is going to be our base car and i'm going to make a copy of it um, just to show you the difference and uh, later we're going to make a second base and this is going to be for the other cars but right now we're going to change um, this base car into the generator car or the power the head and power car which is this car here all right to get started on that let's go down here and we're going to add in a uh, polished black stone brick slab here in the middle. And we're going to make this go all the way across to meet up with the other side like this. 
And then we'll go on this side. We'll add in two blocks wide, polish black stone brick slab. Two blocks wide, black concrete. Upside down, dark prismarine stairs. And a dark oak uh, trap door like that. And then dark prismarine slab here in the gaps. All right, so then we're gonna add dark prismarine slab just all the way across this part here. To the other side. And then on this side, there's going to be this polished um, blackstone block. So that's going to be a 2x2 two two and polished blackstone slab underneath it, 2x2. Two two. And then dark prismarine slabs all the way across to the edge like that. Alright, so next let's go on this end here. Skip a block and add in three blocks long, polish and slate blocks. And then right over here is going to be a polished deep slate stairs and then two blocks wide polished andesite stairs. Then we'll skip four blocks, so one, two, three, four, and then after that punch a hole here. Uh, gray concrete with a stone pressure plate on top. Then we'll go off to this other side here and then we're going to delete um, these two oak slabs here. And then we'll add a dark prismarine block here and a slab here and another slab down there. Two blocks tall of uh, this um, acacia fence gate. Yeah, that actually goes all the way up like that. Then we'll add in dark prismarine block here, and then another one on the inside of it like this. All right, next let's go down here, and we'll add in a gray concrete here with polished blackstone brick slab underneath. Then we'll add in two blocks long polished blackstone brick slab, and then delete this slab here and then add in two blocks wide, black concrete, another black concrete inside here, um, a stone here, the two blocks wide, black concrete, and another, and then a black concrete on the inside here, polished black stone brick slab here, and then nether brick slab right underneath uh, the salt section here. I think it actually goes across. Yeah, just fill it underneath this as well. And after that, we'll go over here and we'll add in a gray concrete, skip a block, gray concrete, a polished black stone brick slab in between, and then underneath these gray concretes. Now let's go off to the other side here. We'll add in polished black stone uh, brick slab, and then skip a block, a gray concrete, skip a block, polished black stone brick slab, and then a gray concrete, and this goes all the way across to the other side. Then polished black stone brick slabs, right underneath this area and then we'll add in three blocks wide over here and then we'll add in this polished deep slate uh, block right here on either side of this gray concrete like that all right next we'll go off to this side here and we'll delete these um, two blocks wide yellow with dark prism rain and also change these outer edges to dark prism rain as well and once we're done with that, we're going to copy everything that we did on this side. And then we'll build it on the other half. So just paste it like this. Very cool so far. So next up, we'll add in this warped trap door. It's going to be on the left-hand side of the end here. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side, just the left-hand part. Just add in this uh, part that sticks out like that on that side. All right, so let's first work on this side. So the way you can tell between the two sides, by the way, you know, this side, it has four vents here, while the other side, it has three vents there. That's one way you can tell. So let's go over here, add in bedrock, skip a block, bedrock, skip a block, bedrock, skip a block, bedrock, so that we have four of them. And we'll delete the blocks, like, vertically up from it, and we'll replace them with bedrock as well as the blocks underneath. We want to make it tall, you know. So we'll just replace them like so. And then in the gaps, we'll add in a polished blackstone. I mean, dark prismarine block like that. And then we can add another dark prismarine block over here. And then we'll add in iron trap door, dark prismarine block. And then two dark prismarine slabs, dark prismarine block. Iron trap door, skip block iron trap door, dark prismarine block in between, then after it, then two slabs here, dark prismarine block here, iron trap door here, then two dark prismarine blocks, 
two iron trap doors, skip a block two, skip a block two, skip a block one, and then dark prismarine blocks in the gaps in between. And right over here, dark prismarine block. Also add in dark prismarine block, just line up to whichever poles they have here so that they all line up together. So it's kind of like pillars, except these slabs here, we'll skip that and uh, just go around it. And then we'll skip these slabs as well and then fill us in. Dark prismarine, pretty much. Yep, yeah, so uh, it should look like this right now. And then we're also gonna fill this part in here. Very cool. So then we'll add in um, oak slabs. So it's gonna be um, one of them is here, just two blocks wide. And the other side, we'll add in uh, two blocks wide here as well. So I guess it's like this. Let me check. All right. So now for the other side, let's go here, add in dark prismarine block here, and then a bedrock block. Skip a block, bedrock, skip a block, bedrock, and then dark prismarine blocks in between and after it. All right. And then we'll add an iron trapdoor here, dark prismarine two slabs, dark prismarine, skip a block, dark prismarine, skip a block, dark prismarine, then two slabs, and then uh, dark prismarine, four blocks long, so one, two, three, four, and three iron trap doors, two dark prismarine, two trap doors, dark prismarine, two trap doors, dark prismarine, and iron trap door. And let's add in these dark prismarine blocks just right above each of these pillars. And all the way across here. And remember to skip these slabs, don't do that part. So pretty much going across. And then this part right over here, there's going to be bedrock right above all the other bedrock vents. Let's in dark prismarine. And we'll also extend this bedrock down on the bottom layer where we have the yellow. Part like that. All right, so next let's add in these two blocks wide. Uh, oak slab here and the other side. Uh, underneath this window, just two blocks wide. Oak slab like that. And now we're gonna add in a vent right over here. So punch in a hole here. And that's gonna be, I think, polished blackstone <laughs> brick. Yeah, we just added a polished black steel brick slab layer. And then we'll go um, add in these, uh, I think the windows actually open up or something like that. So we'll punch a hole here, black concrete, and then iron trap door like that. So you can see, you know, these windows, they're opened up, I think. That's my hypothesis. So we're just adding that for some more details. So I'm going to do it to uh, this window here. Just uh, fill it in, black concrete, and then iron trap doors. And then these two small windows here as well. Actually, add an iron trap door here as well. The bottom, black concrete inside. Iron trap door like that. All right, and then this window here as well. Black concrete, iron trap door inside like that. All righty, so now we're going to add in this polish. Actually, just diorite where these slabs are at the bottom. So just make a two by two diorite like that. And then same thing over here, just two by two diorite. Like that. And the other side, do the same thing over here, just two by two diorite. And then two by two diorite here. Build in like that. All right, so now we can add in some more iron trap doors. So we're gonna go to where you have these two win windows here, and just uh, move it in, iron trap door on the outside. And then this window here, We'll move that in, iron trap door, uh, just like that. All right, then we'll go off to the other side. And we'll go uh, right after this polished black stone brick. And we'll add in a birch fence right there, right at the very bottom like that. All right, so um, yeah, that's actually uh, pretty much it on how to make the generator car, the head end power car. Now we're to go off to this base and we're gonna modify it to make all the rest of the four cars because these cars are more related to each other than this car. All right, so to make the second base, we're gonna go here, add in another brick wall, dark prismarine block after it, 
And then we're going to delete these two slabs here, add in two blocks wide, uh, dark prism marine, and also go down here, add in two blocks wide, dark prism marine like that, and then delete these two yellow concretes, dark prism marine. So it looks like this. And um, I think we'll also like fill in this part here, dark prism marine. And I, th yeah, we're pretty much going to add in a blackstone button here and then a birch button up there in the corner and we'll do the same thing on the other side right over here so another brick wall dark prismarine block two dark prismarines over here another one behind this um, slab two blocks wide over down there and then a blackstone button and then birch button um, a birch button I said right up there we're also going to add in two blocks wide dark prismarine block and then dark prismarine stairs and then two of these um, dark oak uh, trap doors like that. And the other side will do the same thing, just two dark prismarine blocks and then a stairs upside down. Then two blocks wide, dark prismarine block like that. Then we'll add in polish blackstone. And that's going to be inside here, just make it two by two. Then polish blackstone slab underneath, just two blocks wide. Then we'll go to the other side right here. And we'll add in uh, two blocks wide, polished blackstone, and then two polished blackstone slabs like that. Then we're going to add in two blocks wide. Then we're going to add in two blocks wide of black concrete inside like that. Very cool. So these rest of the cars actually have like this flap that goes down here. So we're going to add in dark prismarine block. It's going to go in the space between. And I'm just going to use world it for this. Just extend that all the way across like this. Alright, so it looks like that. And then underneath here we'll add in 2 by 2 polished black stone brick slab like that. Other side same thing, just 2 by 2 like that. And then 2 blocks wide black concrete. And this goes all the way across over here. So I'll just fill that in like so. Very cool. And then the rest of these cars, they also have like these giant AC boxes that are kind of exposed. So we're going to delete these four light gray carpets here. And then we'll delete these two by four here. And I think, yeah, we'll just delete this bottom part as well. And instead, we're going to add in this polish, actually just smooth stone um, lock. Wrap it around like that. And then smooth stone slab here in the middle. Two blocks wide over here, and then two blocks wide polished deep slate slabs like that. All right, all right. So next, let's go down here, and we're to go right to this, uh, black concrete, and we'll skip two blocks, add in three blocks wide of this polished blackstone brick slab. Skip two blocks, add in dark oak trap door. Skip a block, two blocks wide trap doors. And then skip two blocks, three um, polished, actually two polished black stone brick slabs like that. All right. All right. And then we're going to go to right where we have these trap doors here, like in between this space here. Let's go up here. And we're going to uh, delete these two yellow concretes like that. So they should line up up to this point. And delete these slabs at the bottom. Then we'll add in dark prism block inside here. And then two blocks wide of smooth quartz slab like that and this is going to be I guess it says channel railways I don't actually know if it does it probably does right here in the middle all right so next we'll add in uh, two blocks wide oak slabs up here it's going to line up where the hopper is it goes across to the middle same thing on the other side just like that all right so next we're to copy everything that we did on this side and then build the other half all right, so once we have the other half, it should be looking like this. And the way you can tell between each side is just like which end this um, AC is, by the way, if you're having trouble. <laughs> so first off, let's go on this end here. And we're to skip these three blocks here and then punch a hole, polish blackstone brick slab like that. Then we'll add in a warp trap door on the left hand side at the end of each side of the car. So it should be like that. All right, so this is going to be our base car. And then we're going to add in like three more copies of this to make the other cars. All right, so I made a bunch of copies of them. Now we can uh, transfer the base into the actual cars themselves. 
All right, so now first car is gonna be YW car. So that is the hard seat or hard sleeper. So to do that, let's go on to the side and we'll add in a dark prism rain block. Just skip a block, add one here. I'm gonna make it five blocks long. So one, two, three, four, five. And skip two, add in one. And then we'll go on the other side, add another one here. Skip a block, add one. And then skip two, add one. Next, we'll add in iron trap door. So either in the gaps over here, just two blocks here. Other side, same thing, just two blocks here. And then another one over here. All right, so next we'll add in dark prismarine block. And it's going to be right above this part here. Fill that in. And above this like pillar here as well, just make them all line up. The other side will do the same thing, just fill it in right at the top layer like so. And then we're gonna extend um, these windows here, just two blocks wide, and this pillar, and this goes all the way across as much as we can to the other side. So it should be um, looking uh, just like that, very nice. And now for the other side, let's go over here. Um, we're going to add in iron trapdoor here, and then three dark prism marine, then two iron trapdoors, and then fill in the top part of this dark prism marine, and then add dark prism marine here and the other one inside like that. And let's go on the other side, and we'll add in iron trapdoor, skip block two, dark prism marines in between and after it and then right above in the pillars like that. And then we're gonna extend this uh, window here, just two block wide in the pillar, just all the way across till we reach the other side, just like that. And then we'll go off to this single window, like the single block window, add black concrete, iron trap door inside for that, I guess the opening thing, whatever you call it. <laughs> and then the same thing over here, Iron trap door like that. All right, and then let's go on to the other side, and we'll go off to this uh, first two block wide window here. Just uh, do the same thing, adding in that divider. Uh, same thing with this last window here, and the single window here as well. Uh, black concrete like that. It's already there. All right, then next let's go down here. Add in these, um, I guess, three blocks wide, polished black stone, and then three blocks wide, polished black stone slabs like that. All right, so yeah, that's actually it for the YW car. Now we're going to go off to the RW. This is the soft sleeper, the one with uh, more room. All right, so for this car, what we're going to do is let's go off to this side here. And then we'll skip three blocks and then add in a polished black stone slab like that. And then we're gonna go line up where we have this stairs here, right above it, add in that dark prismarine block. It could go all the way across to the edge. Same thing on the space above it, like this. Alright. And then we'll add in two iron trap doors here, and then dark prismarine block, another one inside like that. Now let's go on the other side and we'll add in iron trap door here. Skip a block, iron trap door, and then dark prismarine blocks in between and after it, and make this two blocks wide, and then add in two blocks wide, iron trap door, and then dark prismarine blocks, and I'm going to make this go again, adding in the window pillars like that, and we're going to send this window until it goes to the other side, so I'm just extending it like this. And then for the bottom part here, we'll add in uh, three blocks wide of that polished uh, black stone and then slabs underneath it like that. And then I guess we will move up to the other side. So on this side, we're gonna add in dark prismarine block here. And then iron trap door, skip block two block wide, and then dark prismarine blocks in between and filling in the pillars Go to the other side here, and we can add in iron trapdoor here, and then three dark prismarines, filling in the pillar here. And then we're going to add in iron trapdoor here, and then dark prismarine block, 
iron shut door, two blocks wide, dark preserving block. Fill in the pillars like this. So it's gonna be one and then two, and then we're gonna extend these windows, these two block windows, so that they go across the rest of the coach like this. Fill that in, iron trap doors like that. And then we're gonna add in um, the divider here inside, two block wide. Iron trap doors right there for that two block wide window, and then this last two block wide window here as well. And also this small window here at the very edge. Do the same thing like that. All right, so yeah, that's actually uh, pretty much it uh, for the RW car. Now we're gonna go move off to the next car of the lot. This is gonna be the CA car, this is the diner. So to uh, make the diner here first, let's go add in this top section here. It's just like, uh, we'll skip, I'd say three blocks here, away from the edge, and then three of these smooth quartz blocks like that. And then we'll actually have to shift this door over here. So it goes one block uh, to the left, so move that there. And I guess fill this in, uh, Dark Prism Marine. Dark Prismarine over here, and then delete these two Dark Prismarine blocks. Delete that black concrete inside, just fill that in, and then two blocks wide of that oak slab. Right above this window, we'll replace that Dark Prismarine, and below it as well, Dark Prismarine. Add in a birch fence gate, open that up. And then we'll punch in a hole here, two block wide hole, and then fill that in with uh, yellow concrete. And then dark prismarine slabs at the bottom of this. Then over here, dark prismarine block like that on the inside. And I wonder if we do it at the bottom. I don't think so. All right, then we'll go off to the other side. And we'll actually have to change this door as well. Just move that one over. Uh, another brick block here, dark prismarine, and then another one over here. And above and below this window. And uh, Birch fence scale. I'll just grab it from here. Open that up. Then delete these two block wide here, two by two, and then um, yellow concrete inside, and then dark prismarine slabs in front of that. And we'll do the same thing at the top row. Just convert it into just dark prismarine with oak slabs in front of it like this. And I think um, yeah, that should be good for now. And then we'll add in dark prismarine right above this pillar here. So next up, let's go right above this uh, stairs here, add in dark prismarine block, just make it connect to the side, fill in the gaps above it like this. And this window is actually special because it's like shorter than the other windows for some reason. So we're going to add in two dark prismarine slabs, skip a block, two more, and then dark prismarine blocks in between like this, and fill in the pillars above it like that. All right, and then we'll add in um, iron trap door, just uh, two blocks wide like this. And then we're gonna make it so it's gonna be six of these windows. So it's gonna be like one, two, three, four, five, six like that. And then we'll add in dark prismarine blocks in the gaps between it. And also like line them up on the very top of this. And you could probably do this, we'll foil it really fast. <laughs> All right. And then for the rest of this area here, I just fill that in dark prismarine blocks all the way across like that. All right, so next up, let's go off to um, the other side. And um, let's go right over here. Uh, we're gonna add an iron trap door here and then dark prismarine block. And then go to the other side and we're gonna line up um, I guess right where we have this block here, then add two blocks wide, iron trap doors like that, and then dark prismarine blocks, just fill that in all the way across to the very edge, like this. All right, and then dark prismarine uh, block pillar here, and then we're gonna extend these two block wide windows so it goes all the way across to the other side, just as much as we can that fill this pillar in like so and for this side there's actually no door here so get rid of that get rid of these buttons here and then we we'll extend the stripe across on the top and the bottom 
And the other side will do the same thing, just uh, delete this doorway here. And extend the stripe across. Like that, so it's nice and clean, and get rid of these uh, dark oak trap doors underneath. Don't need that anymore. Cool. Alright, so next let's go here on the side, and we're going to add in divider for this first window here. And the second to last two block wide window, so right over here, and then go to the block behind it. Not made to delete that black concrete inside, and then the iron um, trap doors like that. And I wonder if this one, okay, guess not. Well, for the other side, we'll add in divider here, this window, and the window after it, and then this window here after it as well. And then this last window here, add the divider like that. Very cool. And now we can go down below here and we delete this polished blackstone and the slabs as well. Add in a polished blackstone brick slab instead. And we'll go here, delete these slabs down there. And uh, what else? Let's go back onto this side and we're going to change this three block wide and just two block wide like that. And I think we can leave the rest alone. All right, and then we're going to change the step up here. Just rotate the stairs so it faces outwards. Delete these two dark oak trap doors and move them so that there's one underneath that stairs. And do the same thing on the other side right here. Just like that. All right, so that's pretty much it on how to make the diner, the CA car. Now we'll go off to the last car. This is the YZ. This is the seat car. All right, to make the YZ car, we're going to go to our base model here. And we're going to add in um, iron trap door right there. Then we'll add in five dark prismarine blocks. So one, two, three, four, five like that. Then we'll add in two blocks wide, iron trap doors, and then dark prismarine block. Go to the other side. And we'll make this four blocks long. So one, two, three, four like that. And then two blocks wide, uh, iron trap doors, and then dark prismarine block. And we'll extend um, the pillars up, dark prismarine, and the other side as well, dark prismarine uh, block like this, all the way across. All right, and then we're gonna extend these two block wide windows, so it goes off to the other side. So let's do that. It's a little bit laggy, but uh, should go across like this. Fill this in just like so and uh, let's go off to the other side here add an iron trap door and then we're going to line up right to where <laughs> that point here so i guess i'll add in um five dark prismarine blocks and then two blocks wide iron trap doors and then dark prismarine block like that and we'll fill in these uh, pillars as well right above it just like that. And then we'll go off to um, this side here, add in iron trap door, and then um, dark prismarine block, two blocks wide, two iron trap doors, and then dark prismarine block. Fill in the pillars here. And then we're gonna extend these windows so that they go across all the way to the other side, uh, just like that. And now we can add in a divider up to uh, this window here. And this two block wide window here. And then this last two block wide window here. And then this window here. Just like that. And the other side, uh, we'll do it to this first window here. I wonder if it's already filled in up on the other side. Um, and then I think, yeah, this last window, two block wide window here. And then this last one window here, uh, just like that. All right, and then we'll go off to um, this side here, where it's uh, yellow concrete. We'll just fill that in, dark prismarine blocks like that. All right, so um, yeah, I think that is pretty much it on how to make the YZ car and the last of the Qinghai Tibet Railway uh, coaches and carriages in Minecraft. And thanks a lot to Victor for commissioning this build. 
and making this video possible. If you guys are interested in commissioning trains for yourself, check out the link in the description. Um, if you guys do enjoy the video, <laughs> make sure you hit that like button down below. Subscribe if you had already, and I'll see you guys in the next one.